Hello everyone and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Sim 2020 where I'm going to attempt the cold and dark start of the PMD GDC6. I've already done this successfully once, well partially successfully. I skipped some steps but it still worked out. I was able to make a flight, let me put it that way. But there are certain items that I, I didn't really know the location of, to be frank. There are a lot of things here, mainly because I am not going to be using the artificial flight engineer. Uh, basically, if you want to, you can just use their artificial flight engineer, uh, go through the before start. Uh, after start and before takeoff and let me make sure I have my cursor <laughs> captured. I usually turn it off for flight sim But of course we will want the cursor so you can see what I am manipulating around here uh, so yeah, there we go uh, so yeah, you can just click these and That will do everything except for actually starting the engines basically, but that's no fun so I'm going to use the PMDG uh, big PDF for the plane, which is the POH, and it is 333 pages long, and we are on the recommended operating procedures, page 198, it looks like. Uh, so, yeah, we are going to start out with the flight compartment check and then move on from there. Many, many steps to go through, and again, there are a few things that I think I can skip, uh, so I will. But I'll mention them just in case uh, you want to know. So the first thing is cabin attendant temperature control panel set. I am going to assume that's okay. I don't even know where that control panel is. Uh, emergency equipment stowed, fine. Hand fire extinguishers installed, I assume is fine. Uh, main and radio circuit breaker panels, all circuit breakers set. Uh, normally that is how it is when we start up. Uh, they don't actually make us do the circuit breakers. Uh, so that's fine too. Inverter, circuit panel, breaker panel, all circuit breakers set, etc. Okay, so now we get to the normal thing that is step one for, and I'll try and focus on the right panel for these things. Uh, the normal thing that we start off with is of course the battery. So battery and ground power on. We are we can verify that we're on, we can use the ground power by going back over to the pad here and ramp manager and uh, well let me just pull it forward here. Ground power unit is on there so that's fine. So and in fact we can reset the state as well. I assume we are properly cold and dark. Oh by the way we do have all the realisms on just in case you're wondering. Uh, so we are going to go up here and switch to ground power. Okay, so now ground power amber light is on, that's step 8. Uh, position, fuselage, cockpit, and compartment lights as required. It seems okay, but there are a lot of lights, there's main instrument panel lights here, there's cockpit floodlight there, actually a little bit of cockpit floodlight is probably a good idea. Uh, so that's nice. If you want red, they've got red, if you want red panel lights, but I don't. Okay, and then radio backlighting. All right, so all that stuff is there. Seats, safety belts, and rudder pedals adjusted. Okay, and no so smoking and seatbelt signs on. Seatbelt and no smoking sign. There we go. And that is okay. Water injection pump switches off. Water inje injection pump switches are off. Uh, propeller emergency de-icing controls off. Uh, let me change my seat here. Um... Emer emergency de-icing, I uh, misplaced those. Prop de-icer, that's the prop de-icer. Propeller emergency de-icing de control, I guess that's what that is. I am just assuming that though. I don't think there's anything else. Anyway, that's off, so that's as okay. Uh, cowl flap selectors open. All right, we'll just fully open them. Okay, fuel booster pump. Circuit breakers set, those are the circuit breakers, those will be fine. Fu fuel boost booster pump switches off. Uh, middle is off, they're all fine. Okay. Uh, cooling turbine switch as desired. I desire it where it is. Uh, inverter switches, all three on. Inverter, one, two, and I guess this is three. So these are all on. All right, good times. Uh, ox blower on. Oh, sorry, off. Okay, focus. Voltage regulator overheat warning light, off. Uh, emergency instrument switch if installed, off. I think that's okay. Generators on. These are the generators. Okay, all ignition switches off. Uh, yes, currently these are the ignition switches. They are off. 
Fuel, fuel switch normal, down. Heal, heater, fuel, ignition selector, they're all down. Okay. And, uh, and it goes on to these other ones too. System number one they should be on. I think uh, that's the bottom still. So all those should be down. Oops. Cabin heater master switch on. Cabin heater master switch on. And uh, and then uh, airfoil de-icer heaters master switch off. So that's down. That's fine. Propeller de-icer switch off. So I guess that wasn't the one from earlier. Oh <laughs> well. Uh, carburetor de-icer switch is off. Anti-icing uh, quantity check. Uh, Anti-icing fluid is close to topped off, but not quite. That's fine. Hydraulic fluid quantity check. And uh, we've got the oil there. Hydraulic reservoir is full. Okay, so water quantity check. We are full on everything. Okay. Oops, something was around us. Fuel quantity check. Fuel quantity is okay. We are full on fuel. Okay, oil quantity we already checked. So that's okay. We could get more in if we needed to. Landing light switches retract and off. Uh, off and uh, I think they're all on off. Okay. Uh, engine super uh, charger switches low. They are. Cabin pressure regulator, start marker, and flight hand set. Cabin differential pressure is here. And I think it's on auto. This is the cabin pressure, it's on automatic. Uh, it's, I, I, I can't manipulate this one. I think, oh, this is the start marker right here. So, uh, cabin flight. Uh, I guess we sh I, I'm not entirely sure I want to set that. We'll just leave it. It was fine before. I'm not gonna mess with it. Um, yeah, we'll just leave these. That is 29.92 anyway. It doesn't look like it can change it either. Okay, cabin pressure, manual control door closed. Uh, yeah, that's that door. Um, so that'll keep it on automatic. Okay, door warning lights off. Uh... I forget where those are, but we're gonna trust that those are off. This is just supercharger oil pressure, I think, here. AC voltmeter set. Okay, that's uh, over here. AC voltmeter set to engine instrumentation. That is fine. So straight up, and then DC voltmeter set to bus, which is fine. These uh, bus voltage normal. Uh, looks normal to me. That's the big line there. 28 so that is okay and fire extinguisher selector valve and discharge handles in those are uh, these for here I think and those are in right now and fire detection system warning lights test um, oh that one I don't think I can find the warning lights test but well we'll have to trust on that for now okay a cockpit heat control as desired, windshield heat control as desired. Those are up. Hold on, uh, there's the cockpit temperature. That's the windshield heat, so that's okay. And clocks and altimeter is set. Well, I'm just gonna. I think we are probably a little bit below sea level here at uh, SFO, San Francisco International. Well, I'll just set it to zero. Um. Hydraulic system bypass control lever on. So uh, that is okay. So this one, hydraulic system bypass control lever is on bypass. That is down. So it is in the right position. Down. Uh, auxiliary. Okay. Auxiliary hydraulic pump selector valve control lever brake system. That's this one here, and it's on brake system. There's a general system and uh, whatever accumulator thing there. And then, uh, and then we're supposed to check the uh, the pressures over there in the in the co-pilot seat right hand. But the pressure there that we're supposed to check two thousand six hundred to three thousand fifty 
uh, right around here-ish. It's at zero right now. It'll go to the right position later. It doesn't go to that position now. The emergency brake pressure, which is down here, is at 1,500 psi, so that's fine. I don't know why the upper one doesn't uh, activate until later, until the engines are on, but it doesn't seem to. Uh, fuel selector valve controls main forward. I don't think it has... Oh, that's the pump guard. That's fine. Okay. Fuel selector... Oh, yes. Uh, fuel selector main valves. Let's see. That's these. They're currently off. And we'll just toggle to main. So that'll select those tanks. Cross feed and auxiliary tank valves off. So those are the cross feed valves off for position. Uh, propeller master RPM... I have a RPM lever, so that's forward, take off position. And then it says Hamil uh, sorry, engine master controls, Hamilton standard, propeller selector, number two auto or number three auto. Uh, that's here, this prop sync. Right now it's on number three auto. The middle position would be off, so that's the one that we don't want. Throttles should be at uh, 10 to 25% open. I've got them somewhere in between. Uh, autopilot off and that is down here it should be on the bottom position parking brake on there parking brake set okay all right mixture controls idle cut off now that's a little bit different right now yes they are idle cut off okay pressure oil uh, fuel oil pressure warning isolation switches on Okay, I don't remember where the fuel, oil, pressure, or warning, isolation switches are. Okay, well, we are going to pass on that for now. As far as the servos, those are off. That's gyro pilot and altitude control. Those are off. Uh, landing gear control lever down. And that is that. It is down. Trim tab set. That's fine. Carburetor air controls cold. That is down. All of them down there. Wing flap control lever up. Radio check. Mechanics interphone standby. And now we get to start the engines. So, uh, up. it still tends to skip over some things sometimes. In this case, it tells us start engines in falling order. 3, 4, 2, 1. Engine selector switch at position. So we start with three. Safety switch on first and start, but it forgot to tell us to turn on the magnetos. <laughs> we need to do that. That is important. And uh, we need to make sure that the booster pumps are at least on low. And the main fuel ones are the ones we want since that's what we've got selected down there. And yeah, now we can start engine three, I think. Right. So we click start. Wait for Three, nine. Six. Nine. Okay, and then click these two. Twelve. And hopefully you'll start. Oh wait, it, it, they told us to set the mixture to idle cutoff. Of course, that's not gonna work. Auto lean is what we want. Okay, well we'll try it again. Start. Okay. Twelve. Is it gonna be okay? It seems okay. Okay, we'll wait for the switches to restore. And then engine four. Okay. Okay, click, click. Twelve. Hopefully you can hear the engineers count 3, 6, 9, and 12. And we have to get started between 9 and 12. Uh, click those two buttons between 9 and 12. Okay. 
And they also say to limit the RPM to 1000. It seems like we can go a little bit higher on the, not that much. A little bit higher on the throttle to get to 1000. But we don't want it too low because then they might have other problems. Okay, so right around there-ish. Okay, going back up. And you can access the different views by doing control 1, control 2, control 3, control 4, control 5. This upper panel is control 6. Okay, so engine 2. So boost and prime. Twelve. Is that working? Well, it's holding on there. Still waiting for the switches to flick. Okay. And finally, engine one. Up, oh, uh, uh, no, over here, engine one. Three, six, five, twelve. Okay. That one does not seem to have taken. Maybe my timing was off. Let me just double check. Uh, the mixture is fine. The RPM of the other one seems fine. And, well, there's no good reason for engine one to be peculiar. Let's try again. Three, six, five. Oh, I'll do those a little bit earlier. Seem okay. Go inside. Yeah, it seems to be getting up to 1000 RPM. Okay, uh, watching for engine and cabin supercharger oil pressure rise. Yes, you'll note that the oil, the supercharger oil pressure has gone up and the lights have gone off. Okay, so the booster pumps can now be turned off. Oh, not high. Okay, the hydraulic system pressure we can check. And uh, not from here. From here we can, and it is in fact in the range that it was supposed to be at the bottom end, though. But it'll probably warm up. Okay, and after the engines start, we can set the mixture to auto rich. And we can also uh, switch the external power source off. So, to paint plain battery, and then we can go to our pad, ramp manager, turn off the ground power. Okay. Let's see, the engine stress visualizer. Carburetor temperature is low. We might want to turn on the cap, uh, carburetor heat. Oil temperature, it tends to be question mark for a lot of the time. Um, okay, uh, so continuing on with the engine run up stuff. Uh, some of these I'm not going to do a check on. Impeller re reverse pitch check, I'm not going to do that. All engines, 1500 RPM. Okay, well, I'll just uh, keep them down for now. They all seem to go up to that pretty well. And then there's a propeller feathering check. I'm not going to do that. Engine um, manifold pressure equivalent to fuel barometric pressure. I think we're okay. Uh, cylinder and oil temperatures check. So we've got the uh, fuel pressure, oil pressure. Oh, let's just go to the center panel. Oil pressures are at the bottom end, but they're warming up, so we should probably wait for them. Uh, you can see oil temperatures there. 
they'll pick up uh, the one that's low right now is the last one we started okay generator amperage and voltage so oops. Up there we have the amps, that one, that one, that one, that one. And this is the voltage AC voltage here. So you can check those. I don't know what amperage we're looking for there. It doesn't seem very high right now. Let's see. Um, let's just stick to bus. I don't know. Electricity. I'm sure it's alright. Uh, inverters check voltage. And I forget if the inverter voltage is near the inverter switches. Well, they're not overheating. Okay, blowers high then low. Magnetos check. Uh, water injection system switches on. Well, that we can do. Uh, water injection system switches on. Okay. BMEP indicators check. Those are here, the ones that are at 60, if we run the engines up they will increase and in uniformity, so that's fine. Cabin, cabin uh, supercharger, oil pressure and temperature, we had already looked at those. Pito and air scoop heater amperage. That that is here and I guess that's the amp indicator for it well if we turn them on the amps go up it looks like it's indicating like 5 to 10 is what it's supposed to be so it is 5 to 10 that's 11 to 16 it's at 16 this belly scoop uh, left edge or leading edge uh, 15 to 21, that's fine. Uh, wing scoops, 19 to 28, that's okay. So that's fine. Max ground operation, one minute. Let's turn them off. Okay, propeller de-icing system check. I'm not entirely sure what uh, checking that is going to entail. So we're just going to just leave it there. And then we are pre-takeoff. So flight's flight instruments check and wing flaps down 20 okay cow flaps 4 fuel booster pumps as required I think keeping them off is fine air conditioning control set that's fine cap instrument and radio inverter opposite first officers I have no idea what that means okay gust lock free mixture controls auto rich yes that's fine uh, we've got the water injection ready all right so then it's just takeoff so we can taxi now so um, why don't we do it properly and get some clearance or something for once? <laughs> Not my favorite thing to do. I think we're waiting. Uh, I don't know why the audio of the ATC is not popping on. I don't remember that happening. Okay, knowledge taxi clearance. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna go do a loop around. <laughs> That's silly. I'm just gonna go out that way. That's why I picked this place. Yes, I use the taxi ribbon. I'm using the taxi ribbon since like flights in nine. Well, let me just take a peek at the little pad while we're going straight. Well, the only thing is the carburetor temperature. I could turn the carburetor heat on, but we'll wait. I think in that situation, it's not going to kill it. Hopefully. Um, oh, that's a speed demon right there. Great, we're waiting for a 747. Roger, Sierra, Sierra, 412. Why is my voice working but the uh, ATC's isn't? So how are things? 
I'll get the try and get the carburetor temperature up while we're sort of sitting here. Um, maybe let's try thirty-seven percent. Uh, yeah, they're all checkmarked now. So, engine stress visualizer, okay. Orbit Airlines is moving. Okay, well, 747 on our runway has taken off. Well, request takeoff clearance. Okay, we are cleared for takeoff. Okay, here we go. Oh, I don't want the water on. Just keep it out of water territory. Okay. A little bit off. Uh, uh, okay. All right. We are. We are in the air. Gear up. It's a cloudy day here in the Bay Area. But we are in the air safely. Last time I started up, I also had sort of yellow question mark moderate stress range on the oil temp. And I'll have to see how to fix that. But anyway, we are. We are properly in the air, 3,500 feet, lots of clouds as we are going south along the coast of California. But uh, I am not going to believe this here, this was just about the startup procedure and clearly we have more or less started up properly. Maybe I've forgotten something if you know uh, there's something that I have failed to do properly, please let me know, that might have something to do with that oil temperature but previously starting it up like this I was able to make a flight a two-hour flight so I think uh, it'll be okay maybe possibly we'll see but yes with that thank you for watching hope you enjoyed this video if you did please do press like if you have any comments or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below and I'll see you next time